hard sparring and heavy back gloves. In other words, boxing gloves. Boxing gloves are essentially the opposite of competition gloves. The fingers aren't separated, they're heavy with lots of padding, and they're bulky. Boxing gloves are usually between 10 and 16 ounces, and they're more heavily padded than MMA gloves. This makes them ideal for protecting your hands and your sparring partner's head. This also makes them great for building up your arm strength. Most people start with 16 ounces for better protection and to condition their arm muscles. When it comes to padding, there are two categories of boxing gloves. You've got your heavy bag gloves, which use a firmer closed cell foam. Then there are sparring boxing gloves, similar to MMA sparring gloves, which use a fluffier open cell foam. These two types of boxing gloves look very similar. But it's mainly the type of foam inside that makes them different. Boxing gloves have a closed palm, as there's rarely a reason to ever open your hands during boxing. And in order to protect the thumb and make solid fists, boxing gloves have a full cover for the thumb, and they usually come with a strap connecting them to the rest of the hand. Now, who are boxing gloves for? Well, boxing gloves are typically used for heavy bag work and your harder sparring sessions. Again, two different gloves for each activity, one with dense padding and one with soft padding. One thing to note though, because of the extra padding in boxing gloves, you can hit a heavy bag much harder than you normally would. And while your knuckles might be protected, a lot of athletes may experience aching in their elbows and their shoulders. This is because they haven't conditioned those joints to the extra power behind their shots. Just something to keep in mind when hitting the heavy bag with boxing gloves. Who are boxing gloves not for? If you're working on your grappling in BJJ, or if you're doing sparring sessions where takedowns are allowed, you simply can't use boxing gloves. They've got a closed palm, closed fingers, and a grip bar. You can't even grab your water bottle, let alone your sparring partner's leg while wearing boxing gloves. And last but not least, we've got Muay Thai gloves. Muay Thai gloves are very similar to boxing gloves, the main difference being the padding and the flexibility. Muay Thai gloves are close in weight and padding to boxing gloves, though they can sometimes go even higher because of the additional padding, usually between 14 ounces and 18 ounces. As far as protection, Boxing gloves put much more of the padding over the knuckles since you're only throwing punches, but Muay Thai uses way more strikes like knees, elbows, kicks, and spinning attacks. This is why Muay Thai gloves have padding on the back of the hand for blocking kicks and elbows, and more padding on the side of the hand for dishing out spinning back fists. As for the palm, even though Muay Thai gloves are designed so it's easier to open your hands, they still have closed palms. And similar to boxing gloves, the thumb is fully covered, though some tie gloves give your thumbs a little better movement for grabbing your opponent. Boxing gloves tend to be much more rigid, keeping your fists in a closed position, where Muay Thai gloves have much more give, allowing you to open your hands for catching kicks or clinching your opponent. Now, who are these gloves for? So Muay Thai gloves can be used for hitting the heavy bag as well as for sparring. In fact, for sparring, they can sometimes be better than boxing gloves since they're designed for clinching and they can protect you from a much wider range of different strikes. Who are these gloves not for? Well, again, like boxing gloves, you won't be able to do much grappling with thick Muay Thai gloves on your hands, although you could get away with some sparring where clinching is allowed, but if the fight goes to the ground, you'll be pretty helpless with Muay Thai gloves on your hands. Okay, now that we've covered the features that they have, Let's break down the best MMA gloves by category for the best all-around glove, the most heavily cushioned glove or glove with the best protection, the premium or highest quality glove, and then the lowest priced glove, but still decent quality. The best all-around glove for hard sparring sessions would have to be the Hayabusa T3 boxing glove. If you ever forgot your hand wraps, this might be the one glove you could hard spar in without wraps and not have to worry about wrist injuries. The Hayabusa T3 is designed for hard, full contact sparring, and it's the perfect sparring glove for people with weaker wrists or who are concerned about wrist injuries in general. It's got Hayabusa's internal wrist splint, which naturally holds your hand in the most efficient and safest punching position, which is a slight downward bend. And the double Velcro locks your wrist in better than a lot of lace-up boxing gloves. And even though a lot of fighters prefer lace-up, the Velcro is also extremely convenient for taking off your glove to get a sip of water or whatever you need to do. And one thing that everyone seems to love about this glove is the thumb. Hayabusa made the thumb out of a microfiber material that you can use to wipe sweat from your brow during sessions. Just a nice little luxury. The Hayabusa T3 boxing glove isn't as heavily cushioned as a model like the winning MS600. So if you're a heavy hitter, you may want to step it up to the most pillowy glove on the market. But for the best overall glove with the most useful features for hard sparring, the T3 is quickly becoming a fan favorite. Now, 
If you like a more heavily cushioned glove for hard sparring, then the winning MS600 is not only the most heavily cushioned and best protected model, but it's also the most high-end premium model. This is probably the most popular glove in all of boxing. The winning MS600 is often referred to as Japanese pillow because they literally feel like you tape a pillow to your knuckles. You can punch your sparring partner, a heavy bag, or a concrete surface with these gloves on and you'll barely notice. When all the other boxing gloves used to be made with latex and dense foams, this Japanese company decided to flip the industry on its head and switch to memory foam. And this lighter open cell foam absorbs the impact of your strikes as opposed to a dense closed cell foam which just bounces your hand back. Of course, one other feature you can't help but notice about this glove is the premium price tag. You do pay more for a pair of winning than almost any other model, but when you spar on them, you'll know why. And the quality craftsmanship and genuine leather ensure this glove is a long-term investment. The one thing you wouldn't want to use this glove for is regular heavy bag work. Yes, it's got plenty of cushioning and it will protect your knuckles, but heavy bag gloves are made with that dense springy foam we were talking about, and the MS600 has the memory foam, which will lose its ability to return to its original form after extended, repeated abuse. It's the ultimate hard sparring glove. The whole point of this thing is to protect your sparring partner. Now, if you're in the market for a budget model hard sparring glove, there's almost certainly no better model than the Hayabusa S4. The S4 was essentially built to be an affordable version of their T3 boxing glove, and it's especially good for athletes who haven't learned perfect punching form yet. It's still got the solid inner splint that secures your hand in the proper punching form. This prevents you from bending your wrist and getting injured. Now, you need to know this model doesn't have the dual wrist Velcro strap like the T3 boxing glove, but it still locks your hand in pretty well. The S4 is also a very comfortable glove. The lining on the inside is smoother than the typical boxing glove, which just feels nice. It also has a mesh palm, which most boxing gloves don't have. This lets air in and out so your hands won't get as sweaty and the inside won't need as much cleaning. And one little bonus is that once the foam on the S4 is broken in, it becomes much more flexible. This allows you to open your hands and grab better, which means you could also use this glove as a Muay Thai sparring glove. You could use the S4 on the heavy bag, though if possible, I wouldn't make it my primary heavy bag glove. But if you're looking for a very dynamic, a very safe, and an extremely affordable sparring glove, you'll be hard pressed to find a better choice than the Hayabusa S4.